So welcome to Jake Has an Apple. Roll the intro. Yeah, that was that was something I made in my spare time. I'm not sure if I've actually put it in the video yet. I think, yeah, I, I put it in my last video, but I don't think I really mentioned anything about it. And so today I'm going to be talking about finding an apartment or a house. And with that, it's basically, I'm basically going to tell you my story and things I've learned and found out through trying to find a roommate. So I'm moving off campus from my university and I wanted to find a place that was within my price range. So when I was looking for apartments, I definitely was looking for like the amenities that they had. And because houses aren't going to have amenities, it's what you bring to it. But apartments, they have amenities. And like you can find if they have like a pea patch garden or if they have a gym on the first floor, if they have free Wi-Fi everywhere, whatnot. Basically, like with this apartment, I found it's like 1850. A lot of the times you're gonna have to pay for utilities, but here we don't have to pay for gas. And yeah, there's like a barbecue on the roof, which is pretty common, I guess, but that's really cool. I'm gonna go up there and cook hot dogs all the time because those are really cheap and I know how to make them. Uh, but when you find the place, make sure you have a bunch of questions ready to ask, like how much is gonna be due upon move in? How much is a pet deposit if you wanna bring a cat or a dog? Is there a weight limit? Is there a pet limit? Take a tour of the place because you'll know when you walk in if it's some place that you are willing to live. It's just, it's it's a feeling you get when you walk into a place. You've probably seen movies of people touring houses and they're like, no, not this one, not this one. Oh, yep, this is exactly where I want to be. Actually, like, a good play, a good movie is The Time Traveler's Wife. They have a great example of that. If you don't have enough friends to move in with you, because not that you don't have friends or friends here. It's a lot easier if you have people through your school as well, because then they're going to want to room with people that are in the general area, and that's really easy to find people because you all want to go to school and you want to pay a lot less than what you're paying for on-campus housing. And if you can't find anyone that's a right fit through your school, like sometimes you have to set your standards a little lower when searching for roommates. Cast it a slightly wider net. Actually, my roommates don't even go to this school, or people I'm looking for, because segueing to Craigslist. Craigslist is a great place to find sublets, or subletters, and people to rent out rooms in a home. And it's it's like how you word the ad. I had like a giant ad, and I went back and edited it every day with a new title, so people clicked on it. And actually, in the title, I put YouTubers welcome. So, hoping to find people that make YouTube videos and also video games because that's a big thing. Put, put everything about you in the ad and people are more likely to respond that you want to have with you. It's something I found. Sometimes there's an application fee that gets put on with these apartments. Just because there's an application fee doesn't mean it should stop you. It was definitely stopping me at the beginning, but it was really hard to find a place that didn't have an application fee that was an apartment. Usually they have year leases and You'll have to sublet from someone else if you want to have any shorter than that. For me, it's a lot easier to find people for like 3, 6, or 12 months. And if you really love this place after that, you can definitely probably sign another year lease with them. It stops them from having a hassle, and they know you're going to be paying on time if they're going to let you renew again anyway. Because they'd probably evict you if you weren't paying. So if you've made it a whole year, you're doing well. And usually if you're actually signing a whole lease, there's going to be no furniture in these places. They, there can be furniture sometimes, depending on the situation and the company you're working with to get the house or apartment. And Or if you're subletting from someone else, you may be able to have their bed when they're gone, which is a little weird to me. But I mean, I'd be fine living with someone else's bed, I just, I just get new sheets. You can't trust their sheets. But that's pretty much everything I have for you guys this time, and tell me about you finding a house because I definitely want to hear your story. You probably saw my friend back here, Chris. He's making a video project for class. It's his final project. And yeah, that's what he was doing in the background, just so there wasn't some random creeper that I didn't know about. I'm really hoping you weren't just yelling at your screen saying, look behind you, Jake, look behind you. And I couldn't, I couldn't hear you just because cameras are, they can read, they can tell like what I'm saying, but they can't. They can't tell me what you're saying. Can I give a shout out? 
Oh yeah, shout out away. Yo, shout out to my main man, K Dizzle, down by the bay, and my main dude, T Money. T Money, we coming for you. You gonna win the championship this year. I know you got it. Yeah. That's my shout out. Awesome, Chris. Thank you. Well, I hope you have a great day. And let's high five out.